you have about 1.3 seconds or even closer to 1.1 if they're bringing a rush towards you. So being able to catch the snap, find the correct grip and expose the sweet spot of the football, which is palm sized area on the bottom of the football, opposite laces, being able to find that sweet spot in the short amount of time on a consistent basis means you're gonna have a lot more good punts and your bad punts are gonna be respectable, decent punts, they're not gonna hurt your team. Okay, so the grip that we use, the grip that most good punters use, most NFL punters, a few elite college punters use, uh, it's kind of a three, it's called three quarter underneath grip. Uh, basically, uh, if I'm holding the ball out to get punted, I'm gonna have my thumb on a top left panel, and I'm gonna have my index figure, a finger underneath the, the side panel. Uh, I'm gonna try to avoid putting any fingers on top top right panel, like like covering it up with the back of my webbing here, because that's usually gonna cause a weird uh, tilt in a ball when I drop it. 11 o'clock. You don't wanna create the tilt by getting the elbow out. You want your forearm to be straight ahead. You just wanna adjust that uh, grip, so when you hold the ball straight ahead, it's 11 o'clock. Okay, so this drill, it's pretty much, uh, it's, it's very simple. Um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on catching the snap, find the grip as we take a first step uh, with our kicking foot, and we're just gonna stop once we land that step. Nice and relaxed and athletic on balance, uh, you're gonna bring it down. So you're gonna have somebody toss you the football. Okay. You're gonna catch it with your arms extended. Uh, so that means they're not locked with the elbows, they're extended. You, you don't want the ball to come into your body ever. So you catch it with your arms extended, you don't have to reach for it, but just kind of nice and athletic, just let, catch it right about here. Okay, so as you catch the ball, uh, some guys like to take a little jab step before taking the first step. So it'll be jab one. Uh, other guys just are pure two-step punters. They'll catch a snap, they'll go start right away with a kick foot, then take the second step and kick it. Okay. Either way, uh, usually we want to try to catch the ball, find the correct grip, and get it set. Uh, set meaning at the drop height that we want to drop it from. It's called the drop table. Uh, we want to get a set by the time the kick foot hits the ground, uh, going into the last step. So at this point, uh, football, we, should, we want to try to find the right grip, get a set. Left hand is still going to be inside of the ball. From here, you're going to uh, drop the football, release the hand. But we're not going to worry about that right now. All you want is catch a snap cleanly, handle the ball efficiently, get a set by the time the kick foot comes down. Okay? Just like that. It looks very simple. It should be. Punting is a very simple process. So you just want to eliminate unnecessary moves. Uh, regardless of where the snap is, wh wherever it is you catch it, you're going to turn it, take it straight to your drop table. Okay. Get a low snap. Okay. Bam. Usually, regardless of where the snap, snap is, I always want to be in the same exact position once the kick foot hits the ground. From here, it's very nice and consistent. I can just pretty much drop the ball, slide it forward, drop it and kick it. It's no problem. Get a good punt most of the times. Uh, most high school guys make a mistake of doing unnecessary things with the ball, like catching it too close to the body, or maybe even catching it here, and then as they take a first step, they do something like this, or they'll drop the ball really high and then low. It's really, you know, there's no need for that. It makes things slower, less consistent. All you need to do is just catch it, boom, spin it as you take the first step. That's it. Simple way, add a lot of yards and your punts. Good. And then we're going to release it back up. So you don't, don't want to drop it with two hands. That feels right. Kind of so we're going to 
Show the drop so you get your ready position. Start your guide on. And then go ahead and wrap it up just like that. Ready? Right? Let's see here. Start your guide on. Pretty good. Good. Just watch that the ball doesn't rotate as you drop it. Gotta get it right in the line. The ball on the foot. The ball is actually dropped, and as it descends, it should remain in the same position as it was during its release. The drop is considered the single most important aspect of putting. It determines the exact placement of the ball on the foot. The ball is actually dropped, and as it descends, it should remain in the same position as it was during its release. As explained before, the front of the ball is angled inward, with the laces pointed towards the outside edge of the shoulder. Again, this position will allow the ball to meet the foot at the optimum spot and angle. You said the drop should be flat. How important is uh, to have it flat on the time? Of all the things that we've covered so far up to this point, the drop, is, to me, is the most important thing of the punt itself. Uh, without a consistent drop every time, you're not going to be consistent on your, your kicks, on your punts. Uh, I constantly work in practice, uh, on the sidelines, during the game, on the drop. And the way that I, I want to drop the ball is, like I said before, flat to the ground. I do this in a matter of by, actually by releasing my hands away from the ball to let it fall out of my hand flat to the ground. Once it makes contact with the ground on, on the practice, I want it to bounce straight back to me with the laces straight to me. That way I can catch it by the laces. This way, if I constantly do this consistently every time by dropping it this way, I'm going to get the maximum part of the ball underneath it, and that's what I want to make contact with. So of all the things that I've said uh, up to this, I would highly recommend or stress that this be one of the priority practice schedules every day. The drop is so important in the game, and dropping it flat all the time uh, with the laces you know, pointed to the outside of the shoulder. Is going to get you the sweet spot. Even if you miss off the sweet spot, maybe uh, maybe a eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, you still got majority of the part of the big part of the ball is still there. So this is this is what I call a sweet spot. This is what I aim for right here. As the punter catches the snap, he should keep both hands on the ball until it begins his final step. At this point, the cradle hand should leave the football in a natural movement. The release is then made just before the final step makes contact with the ground. By dropping the ball with one hand, the punter is able to extend the ball further out and is also able to hold it slightly longer. This allows for better transfer of energy, control, and minimizes the distance the ball drops. Remember, the drop is one of the most important aspects of the punt. It determines the exact placement of the ball on the foot. Ball already extended. Another punting drill that you can focus on that'll make you a better punter is what we call a rocker step drill, or in essence, a one-step punt. It's used not only for a warm-up routine, but also to make you a better punter and give you a little more explosion in that last step. What you're gonna do is place your kicking foot forward with the ball already extended in the position it's in. Then all you do is you're basically rocking back on your non-kicking foot and then coming through with a one-step punt. This will allow you to really focus on getting that drop where it needs to be and exploding that punting leg through the ball and downfield. actually punting you got to have a certain sequence when you drop the ball you can't go back start your swing and then drop it you have to go back drop and then swing so something simple we talk about at our private lessons and our kicking camps is the sequence or the order so back drop swing and what that's going to do is that's going to help you to make sure that you're not making contact lessons in our kicking camps is the sequence or the order so back drop swing and what that's going to do is that's going to help you to make sure that you're not making contact too high on the ball or in your swing path and too low. So everything should be, your main contact should be about mid-shin 
for a typical punt, if you want to get a high hanger, maybe you connect a little higher up on your knee or a low line drive, a little lower. So again, back, drop, swing, and that's your sequence. Punting leg through the ball and downfield. Shout out Caden Plyer, Caden Plyer, you third varsity football. Shout out Caden. Um, I kick virtual uh, professional train training is literally a personal trainer that is with that's with you 24/7 via virtual via cell, uh, cellular. So anytime you need any questions, concerns, in uh, all and video. Um, just because it's at the beginning and I need, or I ask for them and I need them as frequently. I, uh, I... Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy, Cole, Kinfo Kicks. <laughs>